G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this little mini course where I'm going to show you how you can save time and reduce all the headaches and the backwards and forwards that you may experience when you're trying to organize meetings with not just one person, but multiple people. Now, we're going to go through uh, the, uh, an Outlook add-in that I am finding uh, extremely useful and saves me a hell of a lot of time, and that is called Find Time. Now, it's an Outlook add-in that we can use either in Outlook Online or with the Outlook client that's installed on your computer. And we're gonna go through step by step, first of all, how we actually go through and, and install that and add that to Outlook, and also how we can go and create what we call a meeting poll, where it's going to go and poll the, in, uh, the, the people that you're sending this to, so that it can automatically organize a time automatically send out the invites and also automatically um, use a Microsoft Teams meeting. So let's dive in and uh, have a look at how we go about adding this add-in to Outlook. So I'm on the Office 365 Start page and we're going to use Outlook Online. So I'm gonna jump into my uh, inbox here. Now, we'll also have a look at the, the desktop client as well, and we'll have a look to see if it gets added there and how we go about adding it as well. So we can see here I'm in Outlook. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna fire up a new email message. Then what we can see uh, in the these three little dots uh, under the compose box here is get add-ins. So I'm gonna click get add-ins, and all we need to simply do is search for an add-in called find time. So when we click find time, you can see that I'm presented with the information about the add-in um, and also a description, but I've got this blue button here where I can go and add this add-in. And as quickly and as easily as that, I've already got that installed, okay? So we are good to go. Now, what about the desktop client? So now that I've added that to the desk to Outlook Online, you can see that I've got this little uh, icon here. When I go to compose a new email, I can start to and, and create a fine time meeting poll. But let's flick across to uh, the Outlook client now. So we can see here, I'm just gonna close this um, first of all, and I'm gonna reopen Outlook. So let's open up Outlook. I'm logged in as the same user. Now, let's have a look at and see if this is carried across to the Outlook client. So we can see here that um, I'm, I've got the, the email client open. Let's start up a new message and let's have a look and see if we've got that uh, added to Outlook. And indeed we do. So you can see here I've now got a, a, a button here in the compose um, uh, email message here where I can add a new meeting poll. All right. So it carries across with your account, whether you're logged into the Outlook online version or whether you are in the desktop client. So let's flick back across here to, uh, to Outlook online and let's go through now and have a look at the settings that we can, um, that we can control. So I'm going to log into findtime.microsoft.com and I can sign in to access my dashboard. So let's sign in here. It's because I'm already authenticated to 365, it'll just log me in straight away. Now, what we can see here is my find time dashboard. Now I've got all of the open polls that I've got currently out at the moment. I've got any completed or canceled or expired polls as well. Now, obviously this is brand new, so I haven't got anything there. But what we can also do here is we can set some default poll settings. So when I click on default poll settings, there's a couple of things that we can do. I can notif uh, select uh, a, a few options here. So notify me about poll updates, schedule when attendees uh, reach consensus, okay? And also hold selected times in my schedule. So that means that when if I've uh, sent out a poll and I've got added an, a number of different um, options for the attendees, it's gonna, uh, put those options in my calendar and it's gonna block those out for me and hold those times until this poll reaches consensus and the meeting is scheduled. Now I can also lock the poll for intend attendees and I can require attendees to verify their identity as well. I can also set the default duration of, of the meeting when we go to, to create this poll. 
okay? And I'm, I'm just gonna leave those uh, as the defaults at the moment. So now that we've got that add-in added to Outlook, let's actually go ahead now and we will create a new meeting poll and we will send that across to uh, to a couple of people. So in the two box, what we need to do first is we actually need to, to write, um, uh, to, to actually add somebody in uh, in the two box, all right? So what we're gonna do is I will jump over here and I'm going to use this account here. So let me just grab the email address and we're going to send a new meeting request to this Gmail account. Now, this is a Gmail account. It's not an Office 365 account or a Microsoft account, okay? So what we do now, we can type out our message and we can create a fine time meeting poll. Now when I click on this icon, the panel is gonna slide out from the right hand side and it's gonna allow now allow me to create this poll. So you can see here, I've got the uh, ability and options to search through uh, each day and you can see that the weekends are obviously grayed out, but I could untick work hours and that will allow me to uh, to schedule um, meetings or options outside of my work hours, right? It's automatically got my time zone, but let's now on the 1st of February, let's add in a couple of uh, times here. I can go on to Tuesday the 2nd and what we might do here and, and add a few more options here. So I've got six uh, options that are part of this poll and I'm gonna now click the next button. And here is where we can we can set uh, again another new uh, another few little features when we send this out. So you can see here that it's automatically going to to add a Teams meeting, and here we've got uh, some poll settings just for this particular poll. So we can overwrite the default settings. So we can uh, turn these on or off. I'm just going to leave all of these as default. We can check the selected times here. And now we're gonna add this to the email. So it's gonna create this poll. And you can notice here that I've got six options. So I'm going to now send that across to that user. And if we jump into my calendar here, what we can see on those particular days, on the Monday and the Tuesday, is that these, these, um, these options that I had and selected in the find time poll have actually just been added to my calendar and those times are now just being held until the the meeting reaches consensus and people vote. So let's now flick across to uh, to this Gmail account to this user. You can see that the emails come through and I've got the option now to uh, to vote on my my uh, my preferred time. So if I click on these six options, I'm now going to be able to choose from uh, who I am first, then I can now choose the times that work for me. So you can see I've got three options. So I've got prefer, I've got yes, and I've got no. So maybe Monday morning doesn't work for me. Uh, I can do this one, I can do that one, but I might prefer the 11 a.m. on Tuesday. So although I've selected yes to these two, it's the, the preferred um, option there will take precedence, right? So if I now vote for this, it's gonna send, um, send a response back. But you'll also see as uh, if none of these times work for me, what I can actually do is propose another time. And that will then send that back to the person that sent this meeting poll. Um, and we can then arrange uh, a time and a meeting around that proposed other time, okay? So let's now vote on this. So that vote has now been submitted. Let's jump back to my inbox and let's have a look at what happens. So you can see here that the first email that comes through notifies me that a, a an attendee has voted and we can see that the response is here and we can see, although, we can do those times, we actually prefer this time here. Now, you'll also see another meetings come through, uh, another emails come through, sorry, and notifies me that, um, that the meeting has reached consensus. Now, it's only one person, so it only required one person to respond, but 
we've now got that um, uh, that consensus that has been reached. Now, I'll jump into my calendar and you'll also notice here is that all of those uh, slots that were held have now been removed, but that meeting is there and has now been scheduled. So if I now flick back over to, um, to the attendees email, what we can see here is that the meeting request has automatically been sent and I can now accept or um, or reply, add, add that to my calendar, all right? So, and then you can see here that it's already a Teams meeting. So that is how easy it is to be able to schedule, or first of all, add fine time to your Outlook environment or your Outlook um, account and how easy it is to be able to schedule or insert or add a meeting poll uh, to an email and send that in this instance just to one person. But in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll send that to multiple people and we'll see what the experience is like and how we do that with multiple people. And uh, you, you'll see that there, there needs to be a consensus met for that meeting to then be scheduled, all right? But it means that I don't have to go back backwards and forwards with emails. Can you do this time? Can you do that time? Um, and, and it just removes the need to be going backwards and forwards via email to find the best time for people to meet, all right? So we'll leave it there. That's the first module of this uh, small little mini course all around uh, the Find Time Outlook add-in that when used is going to not only save you time, but also the headaches around finding the best and suitable time for everybody to meet. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next module.